happy Tuesday. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'll get us started with my toy show and tell of the day. Um, my kids asked me to show you their favorite Thanos uh, gauntlet from Avengers. I know I have some Marvel fans out there, um, so you guys can appreciate that. You'll also know that whoever owns the gauntlet is inevitable. Um, so unfortunately for you guys, adding linear expressions is inevitable today, um, but that's okay. Um, also, before we get started, I'll share with you our fun calendar dates. Um, I know some of you have asked about our, uh, our fun calendar from my desk at school. Um, yesterday was Babe Ruth Day, um, the great Bambino, as they would say in Sandlot. And today is National Astronomy Day, so you can file that away in case you're ever on Jeopardy. Um, so this week we're going to be working on adding and subtracting linear expressions. You're going to learn today what, what is linear, what is not, um, and that we can actually add expressions together. So here it's pretty easy to see in parentheses where our two expressions are. Um, we can add them together just like we would add an apple plus an apple or five plus five. Um, we're going to need to keep in mind what we know about like terms, and you can see from down here what we know about distributive property. Um, so I'll go through this example with you quickly. You'll get some additional tutorials and notes within the Google form. Um, but when you see a basic addition problem like this, 3x plus 5, that's our first expression, the first add end, plus the expression 4x minus 2, there's no distributive property. There, we, there's definitely an addition sign in between our expressions. It really is pretty easy. You can drop your the Thanos glove falling off my lap. You can drop the parentheses, definitely for our first expression. And we can for our second expression too. And the terms within the parentheses are going to stay exactly the same. So this would be like plus 4x plus a minus 2. Now where did I get minus 2 from? We have to remember that that term includes the sign in front of it. Um, that will be important for getting our, the right numbers, the right final answers. Um, and now it's just up to us to do what we know about like terms. So 3x plus 4x gives us 7x, and plus 5 minus 2 gives us plus 3. So final answer, 7x plus 3. And that's very similar to what we did last week. Um, we are going to build on it. For example, we might use distributive property before we can combine like terms. So this would give us 1 half times 30x plus 1 half of 7. I can drop the parentheses other than what's, what's showing the distributive property. Plus 2x plus a minus 4. And then we put our like terms together. Half of 30x is 15x, plus half of 7 is 3.5, plus 2x, plus a minus 4. And then we're going to use like terms to put 15x and 2x together, 17x, and then 3.5 plus a minus 4 gives us plus a negative half. Okay? And that would be the same as 17x minus a half. And we'll get into that a little bit more on Thursday. Um, Thursday will probably be the, the little bit more of a challenging lesson than Tuesday. However, you are going to see some rational numbers. You're going to see some fractions and decimals. Um, so what I want to remind you is that you may now use the calculator. Um, we would be using a calculator in class. You'll use a calculator in seventh grade when you do this type of work next year. Um, so at this point, be using a calculator to check your, your numbers. Um, that's okay. Um, other than that, just let's make sure we're doing our best work. Um, if you have any questions, to please let me know during the day. And when you're finished, to earn our five points on Get More Math. And I believe that's it. That's all she wrote. So let's have a good day.